Welcome, Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means for you, this actually could resonate as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. All right, what's the energy here for the collective Pisces, please? What is the energy here, please? Coffee cup. Girl with a snake and keys honoring. Under the next camera, reminiscent keepsake perception, learn from the past and or making memories. And then here we have coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. Girl with a snake, nar um, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used in evil and boundaries. Many options, decision, unconventional, stringing along, and or one night stand. Okay. I think this could be a bit specific, but I feel like Pisces, you might be dealing with someone who may have been involved, whether friend or relationship, something. They were involved with someone they realize now they cannot really trust. Okay. That's what I feel like. Um, this person is kind of going through like this like dark night of the soul. They're awakening to a lot of things kind of going on in their life and kind of recognizing that not everyone is really, you know, for them. They actually be against them. Who can they really trust? And they're kind of turning to you for comfort. Um, now, again, some of you, this could be flipped or reversed. So take it how it resonates. Um, leave it if it's not your message. All right, your energy, your person's energy, what is between you and this person, the obstacle or the challenge, okay, their thoughts about you, their feelings for you, their intentions with you, and what actions can you expect from them. High Priestess, okay, so somebody, like I said, they're doing this soul searching, right, Pisces, Cancer, energy, you're very intuitive, I mean, you guys know that you typically are, but and the magician Gemini Virgo under the deck page of cups I think this person's going to apologize to you Pisces because what they're recognizing here is that you were always there for them when nobody else was and so now they're trying to manifest this opportunity where they can apologize to you and they want to see you now ultimately this is going to be your choice your decision you can say no that is entirely up to you but this person has not stopped thinking about you they're very much in their feelings when it comes to you it's like they realize that you're where they feel most comfortable like at home because like i said you've never left their side in your energy you see how this person's like sick here you never left them you took care of them no matter what they were going through for some of you you might have even been there for them when they were going through a bad breakup or something with someone else you were even still there for them uh, maybe even the lost loved ones, loss of job, major changes in life. You were by their side and you never left them. And I think that this person is now kind of coming to terms with the fact that they may have betrayed you in some way by staying focused on another group of like friends or, or even a, a partner, a romantic partner for some of you, where they chose to walk away or distance themselves when you needed them. But again, they're recognizing this other person has not been by their side. Now this person, Leo energy here with the strength card, is having to kind of think about all of this and tame their emotions, humble themselves, come back towards you, try to heal and repair this situation with you. And you knew it then, that this other person was never going to love them the way that you loved them or be there for them or support them in the same ways that you would but now this person had to learn the hard way now they're manifesting this opportunity to make things right with you if you're open to it but you're both very guarded here because they're obviously very conscious that you very well may reject them slam the door in their face i tr i told you so kind of energy and i think that you're very guarded because you don't want to be hurt and disappointed here because you gave your all to this person you were always there and they couldn't see that then and now this person is very much in their feelings cancer scorpio pisces energy with that queen of cups male or female okay queen of cups this person is very emotional they're coming and wearing their heart on their sleeve and i think that your fear is that what if this person 
is just telling you all things that you want to hear? Or have they really learned? Will they be more consistent this time around? For some of you, this could have been a very quick and heated like passionate encounter. Um, maybe this person was never really serious about you or didn't get serious about you. And so you're nervous to kind of revisit that, but look under here, date. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. This person wants to take you out. This person wants to see you in a social setting. They want to try their hand at this relationship now and see if this could become something more. Whereas in the past, they didn't make that a priority to, you know, take that next step in regards to your relationship. And again, that's where that hesitation comes in. Now, what do they think about you? We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. A strong fire, strong water here. I feel like this person is extremely passionate about you, very physically attracted to you. And again, that may be part of your hesitation. What if it's just lust? You know, what if this person says all the right things? They're very charming. They're very attractive. There's clearly, you know, a lot of tension between you and this person. But can this person really go after what they want? You know, will they stick to their word? When they think about you, you're like a prize to be won. And I don't mean that in like a, you know, but I feel like for this person, they do see your value. Like they see, you know, who and what you are in their life and they don't want to let you get away. They feel very like jealous, protective. What their feelings as Ace of Swords they want to be as honest as they can with you. They want to be very direct about everything. How they feel, what they want, what are their intentions. Um, they want to come clean. They want to tell you the truth. They want to bear their heart and soul to you. Because this person recognizes that they can't just come in with empty promises. They can't just come in with, hey, how you been? How's your grandma? How's your dog? You're going to be like, excuse me? We're, you know, You're going to want this person. To, you're going to need this person. Correction. You're going to need this person to come in and be very direct and very honest about how they really feel. They're going to want to take you out. For some of you, it may be just like a coffee date or something or meet at a park or something. And They want some opportunity to sit with you and talk with you and look at you and try to feel the situation out. Because they don't want to let the situation get away. They don't want you to move on. This person does have very strong feelings for you. And they feel like, you know, intentions, it's all going to come together. Everything happened for a reason. But the thing is, it's like everything that happened in the past, and you may even be conscious of that. Like, this person had to learn. They had to go through that karmic cycle, but it still hurt. There was still pain attached to it. And that's, again, where your hesitation lies in here. And so now this person is coming in, trying their actions are trying to be more um, reciprocative. They're going to try to give equally to the situation, you know, um, give more energy, give more time, be more consistent. They're going to try to show their effort that way because they feel like this was destined to happen. It was all, they kind of recognize it that way. Though there's a lot of pain on both sides, they recognize it now. They see how important you are to them. You were that one person who always stood by them. And um, in my personal deck, there's a card that says, I never told you how much I appreciate you for loving me when I couldn't love myself. And th that's immediately what comes to mind. So for some of you, like I said, when this person went through lows, when this person really went through it and nobody else was by their side, there was always you. What do you know about this connection? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. You can manifest this. You deserve love. You are lovable. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So for some of you, it definitely very well could be that maybe one or both of you has children. Maybe there was someone who manipulated them. Okay, girl with a snake with children. And they use that as leverage in some capacity. If not that, somebody was playing like childlike games. or This person got played. This person recognizes now. And I... And I I, I hate that when people say, sometimes you don't know what you have till it's gone. Especially in regards to love. It's it's one of the, my least favorite sayings, unfortunately, though. Sometimes it is, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it is true for certain situations. And I feel like this person just didn't know what they had when they had it. 
and it took losing you for this person to recognize that you were that one person in their life that will always be there for them was always there for them because when you were not in their life they realized that they didn't have anyone else to turn to not in the same way and so now this person they've done a lot of maturing a lot of growing up it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all this person wants to give to the situation because they don't want to lose that again they, they can't risk losing you because again you were that person for them they see that now and they feel foolish so that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. It is truly appreciated. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy shop is also listed down below. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.